Hey shooters, this is John with Sun and Shadow, where we make tools for competitors and warriors. Today we're going to talk about Hornady 6 Arc, a cartridge that has started to take the competition world by storm. What is it? What's great about it? What's not great about it? Those questions and a teaser on our competition build are going to be discussed in this episode of 5 Minute Tips for 1 Minute Shooters. Six ARC ARC stands for Advanced Rifle Cartridge. It was developed by Hornady for a special government customer. They won't really say anything more than that, just that some super fast guys wanted a cool round that had performance that was very similar to 308 or 65 Creedmoor, kind of in between the two, uh, but could be in a small frame gun like an AR-15 rather than a larger AR-10. An AR-15 is a small frame gun and on average, it's roughly 20 to 30% lighter than an AR-10. So already we're looking at that weight savings right away. However, for the most part, we don't really see the same performance in cartridges between a small frame gun like an AR-15 and an AR-10. If you want to have the better performance, an AR-10 is usually going to be the one that we go with because you can chamber it in 6.5 Creedmoor. A small frame gun does not quite have as many options until now with the release of 6R. Let's do some small frame comparisons between 5.56 and 6 arc. What are the pros of the 6 arc over the 5.56? Got them listed out here. Mainly what we're looking at are the effective range, the wind deflection, the energy on target, which is pretty important, and also the ballistic arc. Well, let's touch on each one of these as we go. For effective range, I'm going to talk a little bit about this Knight's LPR chambered in 5.56. I'm shooting a 77 grain SMK out of it, and the performance that I'm seeing is roughly 800 yards to 850 yards before we start to see the bullet go transonic. For this same 18 inch barrel length in 6 arc, we would expect to get about 1,000 to 1,100 yards uh, effective range before the bullet goes transonic. So we're seeing a 200 to a 300 yard increase just by changing the cartridge. Wind deflection is one of the better gems of switching over to a six arc. The 5.56 is roughly a three mile an hour gun, depending on what kind of ammunition you're using. For the six arc, we would expect it to be about a five mile an hour gun. This means that I can guess a wind call a little bit more wrong and still maybe achieve a hit whereas I might be completely off the target with a 5.56. Energy on target's another big one. Sometimes it can be really, really difficult to call a hit on a 5.56 at 500 yards or more. The energy that they deliver to a piece of steel that far out uh, is minimal, and it's really tough to see the splash. However, with a 6 arc, we get more than double the energy on target. It's a lot harder hitting. So calling your hits in a competition setting is a lot easier with this larger cartridge. Lastly, one of the big pros of the 6 arc is its ballistic arc or trajectory. It's a lot flatter shooting than a 5.56. So you don't have to move up and down in your turret or in your reticle quite as much as you would with a 5.56. So the 6 arc seems to have a lot going for it. It's got better ballistics, it has better wind performance, and it has better energy on target. Let's talk about the cons. Chapter one, factory ammo availability. Right now, Hornady is the only manufacturer for a factory load for six arc. This means that availability is pretty tough. Also, cost is still kind of high. We're looking at roughly $1.75 per round for six arc right now. Uh, it is April of 2022 at the time that I'm making this. And um, that can be difficult for some people, especially because it's almost twice the price as a precision round for 5.56. So that's one thing we need to consider. Next up, there's a pretty big difference in reliability of the guns. Um, this might be a sticking point for some people, and I'm hoping not to ruffle any feathers or anything. But from what I have seen with reliability with 6 arc, it's not great. Um, there's a couple bad things going for it. The first is the magazine system. Um, a lot of the ma manufacturers for 6 arc magazines are just reusing a 6.5 Grendel magazine. Uh, so there's not really a purpose-built 6 arc magazine as far as I'm aware right now. Now that could change very soon and hopefully we'll start to see more factory offerings that are specific to 
the six arc. Um, maybe Magpul will come out with something cool. Who knows? Um, but, but until we see better magazine reliability, we're going to be limited with that magazine. The next item on the list here is the gas system. I've seen a lot of reports of clogged gas tubes, and generally the powder appears to burn a lot dirtier than 5.56 five, rounds. It's not often that I have ever really cleaned a 5.56 five, gas tube. Uh, however, from all the reports that I've seen, a lot of guys that are using 6ARC and were early adopters are having to scrub out their gas tubes. Um, some of them have been completely clogged. So the maintenance schedule is going to be a little bit in more intense and also a little bit different than just shooting a regular 5.56 five, AR-15. Next up, oh, here's a good one. It's kind of ugly. I mean, I guess if it's sexy, it might win more contracts. It seems like the key to reliability on the 6 arc is making sure that your system is running properly with properly working magazines and a very intense maintenance schedule. That includes cleaning off the bolt and inside the upper receiver and also making sure that you're clearing out the gas tube. The reports that I've seen have shown the gas tube actually clogging at roughly a thousand rounds. So maintenance uh, in the interim, so let's say every 250 or every 500 rounds, we want to make sure that we're scrubbing out that gas tube. And as we go along and learn more about the build, we'll, we'll check in on what the maintenance schedule actually needs to be. As you can tell, maybe I'm a little bit of a detractor for 6ARC. So the question is, why am I going to build a 6ARC gun? And the answer is really simple. I have seen enough competitors switch over to 6ARC that it's starting to be uncompetitive to shoot a 5.56. And the areas that are most affected are wind deflection and also the energy on target, calling and spotting your own hits. If you can do that with a 6mm gun and see those items and, and have a better wind call, you're going to achieve more success in competition. So it kind of makes sense for me uh, as a competitor to move from 5.56 over to 6 arc. And we're going to try to do that effectively and efficiently uh, without, you know, impacting the reliability of the gun. So here's a little teaser on our build. I have this beautiful 14 and a half inch Mod 1 dimpled upper. Just a gorgeous piece. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to turn it into a 6 arc 18 inch LPR. If you want to see more about the build, hit the subscribe button below and we'll catch you on the next episode.